Emre Chan has landed in Turin, Gareth Bale isn't a happy bunny, and Cristiano Ronaldo has tried really hard to grow a beard. Rolling into your life like an Iranian trying to take a last minute throw in, my name is Rob Armstrong and this is Daily News. First up, it looks like Emre Chan's move to Juventus from Liverpool is done as he was spotted arriving in Turin this morning. This has been on the cards for a number of months after Liverpool failed to tie the German international down to a contract extension. And now him and his lovely hair are off to the Italian champions. The 24-year-old has joined Juventus now on a free where he can team up with his lookalike slash dad, Sammy Gadira and forge the best looking centre midfield partnership in Europe. Do you tackle him or do you kiss him? Who knows? Staying in Italy, if you're a Roma fan, then I'm sorry, but Inter Milan have swooped in and stolen your girl. Raja Nijngaland had already been feeling emotional after being left out of Belgium's World Cup squad. And then he finds out that Roma have been offering him out to other clubs double heartbreak. And naturally, that's it for the relationship between Raja and Roma. And for a fee of around 25 million pounds, as well as David Santon, it looks like he's on the way to the San Siro to join up with Inter Milan. And now to the Premier League, where Leicester City have just dropped a cool 25 million pounds on Norwich striker James Madison, who scored 15 goals in the championship last season as the Canaries finished 14th. That fee is now the record paid for a player in the championship. So, no pressure, James. He had previously had interest from the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham, but none of them could offer a night out in Oceania with Jamie Vardy. Another young Englishman to put himself in the shop window is Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who very briefly neglected his make sure Gareth Southgate doesn't fall over and dislocate his shoulder duties to tell everyone that if he doesn't get the playtime he wants at Chelsea next year, he'll be on his way out of Stamford Bridge. Drama over at Real Madrid as per usual as Julian Lepetegui's first week has involved Matteo Gavacic and Gareth Bale both threatening to leave if they don't get enough playtime too, as well as Cristiano Ronaldo asking for a bumper contract that matches the like of Lionel Messi and Neymar. Bale's agent said, I think he's one of the top three or four players on earth. For somebody like him, he has to play. It's not about money. He wants to win the Ballon d'Or and I think he can. So there we have it, you heard it here first. Gareth Bale is going to have to murder Cristiano Ronaldo in his sleep. It's not all stress for Ronaldo though, as he rocked up to the Morocco game yesterday with a pretty embarrassing attempt at a beard, finding something that he definitely, definitely isn't as good as Lionel Messi at. And it doesn't look like it's gonna go anytime soon, as he said it was a joke between him and Ricardo Caresma that if Ronaldo keeps scoring, the beard stays. So here we are, two games in, four goals, and seven straggly hairs spread across the same chin. That's all we have time for today on Daily News. Don't worry, you've still got another 24 hours of World Cup fun to pass you over until the next one. Unless you're Italian or Dutch, I guess. But until then, we'll see you next time. Traffic and shit. Next year I'm moving my talents to Cali. I swear that I ain't looking back at this shit.